Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna start off with priming my eyes. I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to apply that all over the lids and also on my inner corner eye. Now I'm gonna set that with this shadow from Coastal Scents. And so what I'm gonna do with that shadow, I'm just gonna set that primer and now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So the first shadow I'm gonna be using is this shadow from ColourPop. And I'm going to apply that all over the crease with a fluffy brush from Sigma. You could tell it's been through a lot. The coating of the brush is like all messed up and broken down, but it still works. So I'm going to blend that all over the crease. Now I'm going to be taking this shadow and applying that into the crease as well, but I'm going to make it more pronounced to where like it, I want to deepen it up and it, you can see the color instead of diffusing it. So I'm going to use a more tapered brush, a tapered blending brush and applying that into the crease as well, just like I did with 143. Now I'm taking this deep purple shade and I want to focus that on the outer corner first. I'm going to like layer this and build it up. So I'm starting off with the outer corner and whatever I have left on the brush, I'm going into the inner crease and also the inner eye. And this is like how you achieve a really deep cut crease and really deepen it up. And even though it's getting on my eyelids, don't worry because we're going to clean that area up. So slowly build this shadow up because you don't want to go in with a full purple color because then it's going to be hard to erase that shade and it's going to be hard to blend that out and you're going to ruin your whole look. So now I'm taking this other purple shade. It, it falls more on the blue hue kind of shade. It looks blue, but it's not. And I'm going to take that into the outer corner and I'm using a more longer fluffy brush. This one's from Wayne Goss. And I'm going to take that in the outer eye and then drag the rest of the shadow into the inner eye. I really want to deepen that purple up. So you'll see that I kind of go back and forth with that shadow and the last shadow. And I'm going to just focus that more on the outer eye because we're going to really make this purple eye look really pop. And the key to this cut crease is always blend. You have to blend these shadows out. You don't want it to look like two different colors so you want to have a transition going on so you'll see I pick up a little bit and kind of tweak a little bit of that eye look and I you see like I switch up brushes because I want to really make this look flawless and really blend it. Now I'm going in with this shadow from Colored Rain and this is called Glisten and I'm going to apply that onto the brow bone and clean up a little bit of the first shade that we used in our crease and make sure that that is like really popped and then we're going to apply, well not apply but blend out that harsh white shadow that I applied on the brow bone. So now for the fun part is to clean up the whole lid area. So I'm going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 and you can use whatever concealer that's really light. Lighter than your regular concealer because you want the shadows to really stand out. 
So we're going to clean up the lid area and really cut that crease area. And we're not gonna take this all the way to the outer eye. We're going to meet kind of like a third, fourth of the eye. And for me, I don't know about some people, some people can do a cut crease and clean up that area really fast. For me, it takes time because I do have a small fold on my eye and even though it looks like I have a lot of eyelid space, it is like of a, of a work to just clean that area up and then the crease area for me, it does fold. So that's like a struggle for me a little bit so i'm still getting used to doing the cut crease looks but it's hard when your eyelid folds and you know it's a little bit hooded i don't want to say i have hooded eyes but it's a bit hooded So now that we're done cleaning up that area, I'm going to take this eyeshadow from NYX Cosmetics and it's called Girl Talk. And I'm going to take a small shader brush and applying that into the inner eye and stopping where the pupil starts. And then I'm going to take another eyeshadow. This shadow is by JD Glow Cosmetics and it's the Galaxy Collection shadow in the shade Sin. Now what I'm going to do with that shadow, I'm going to take a adhesive glitter glue and this one is from Eye Candy and I'm going to apply that onto just the center of my eyelid and then I'm going to pack it on with a synthetic brush. The reason why I'm doing this because this shadow is very very like shimmery but then it has a little bit like of like a glitter effect to it. So I felt like with this technique with the glitter glue it just worked so much better because I didn't do that for the other eye and it just didn't stay put the way I wanted it to and I noticed that this one on this eyelid it just stood put really well and it didn't get all over the crease area so I'm going back in with that light purple that we applied into the crease and we're patting that right there like right in between that dark purple and the uh, sin shade but I felt like it wasn't deep enough in the outer corner so I went back with that last eyeshadow that we used and we're going to deepen that up really really good and then just drag the rest of it into the crease but not picking up too much shadow and then I'm going back in with that light purple shade and just having that transition and then I'm going back with no extra product of the sin shade for eyeliner I'm going in with the Inglot gel liner in number 77 and I'm going to do my wing as usual For lashes, I'm going in with the Lily Lashes and Mykonos and some mascara from City Color Cosmetics. And I'm going to do a light coat with this and apply my lashes. And for my bottom waterline, I'm going to use the rest of the Inglot Gel Liner and use that as my waterline color. So if you have a waterline pencil, you can use that if you want. Moving on with the face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Prime Primer in Blur and apply that all over my face before my foundation. And then I'm going to color correct my under eyes. I'm using the Benefit Erase Paste in number one. And of course I have to do this before I apply foundation and concealer. For foundation, I'm using the 
Hourglass Cosmetics Vanish Thick Foundation in Shell. And this is full coverage. I was so surprised like how full coverage this is, even second time using it. And I'm going to use a spray, a water spray from Evian Spray. And I'm going to use that to basically wet the brush before applying it. I don't want to go in dry. And when I do finish applying that, I'm going to just go in with a damp sponge and just basically smooth out the foundation. So for concealer, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Concealer. And I don't know how to feel about this just yet, so I'll let you guys know pretty soon. But this is like my second time trying it out. And I'm going to set that concealer with my Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC. And then I'm going to use a loose setting powder from Laura Mercier to set the under eye so it don't crease throughout the day. So all the shadows that I use in the crease, I'm going to use that for my bottom lash line. And I'm taking a really small blending brush for this. And for my inner corner, I did use the Color Rain Shadow in Glisten to make the inner eye pop. And I did apply some mascara for the bottom lashes. The same mascara I used from City Color Cosmetics, I used that for the bottom as well. And I'm going to set my face with the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Powder Foundation. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to just contour. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I use the shade Fawn. And I also use that on to contour my nose. And then I did add a little bit of powder to kind of lighten that up because I felt like it was a little bit too harsh. And I did go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party. And then for my highlight, I went in with the Makeup Revolution in collaboration with Soph highlight palette and i really love this shade it's so pretty i feel like it goes with any look and this is like a really intense highlight palette so i went in with a little bit more and i did go in with a lip liner from ColourPop, and i think this was the shade Lumiere It's like one of my favorites and then for the lips. I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in stripped Thank you so much for watching my video let me know in the comments down below what you think and if you want to see any more cut crease looks, let me know in the comments, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next one.